on. Today we're going to be shooting at Booty Studio. It is a cosplay studio that has tons of different backdrops for cosplayers. It's one of the best cosplay studios here in Tokyo, and I'm going to be shooting a whole bunch today and also giving you a studio tour. So the first thing you do when you come in here, there's lockers because everyone's supposed to take off their shoes to keep the studio clean. All Japanese studios don't want you to wear shoes inside because they wanted to protect all their different sets. So make sure that your cosplay shoes are clean before you arrive. To be here! And so we're going to start off uh, on the sixth floor to show you guys exactly all the different kinds of sets they have. Right here you have a very basic white wall and you can kind of bring in any props you want in here if you'd like. But that's not what's so great about this place. What's great about this place is the decorated sets. If you're feeling Halloween-y, they've got some leftover pumpkins from previous year's Halloween. They also have a huge variety of different kinds of food you can rent. Over here are all the free foods, but there's also tons of other foods on the shelf where you can rent stuff. I can't actually show you all the rental things because the filming is off limits over there. We can film all this free food right over here. I'm not totally sure what the decor in here speaks of, but it's kind of like fancy gothic masquerade rococo something, um, but it's very pretty and it'd probably be really good for some Gothic Lolita. You don't necessarily need to have a Japanese speaker with you. Of course, it'll make life a lot easier if you did speak some Japanese or have a basic understanding. Welcome to my cooking stream in which I show you how to make stir, stir fry and soup and some cake or something. Faucets. Does this faucet work? Oh, no, no, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't, it's a prop. Just like, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm, I'm here in my traditional Japanese home. How's it going? Every Instagram girl's dream is to lay on a flower wall, but like stand up against it. So they're just like, I'm laying down. So regal, elegance. I'm a flower in a pond in a bush, a forest, delicate. Booking is done completely online and it looks like they've since closed the studio on weekdays so you'll only be able to shoot on weekends, which is what we did. It's actually super affordable to book this space. For a five hour shoot, we booked it for 20,000 yen, which roughly estimates to $40 per person. That is super affordable. So I highly recommend taking advantage of it if you can. Do you want a rock? Here's a rock, it's a big rock. Hey, do you want an umbrella? It's a big old, big old red umbrella, huge. You can be in a little well. You can be a cool, scary ghost lady if you want to. You can be an idol on this sparkly idol stage. Even more sparkle, so much sparkle. We are in Aladdin's Agrabah. Actually, this will fit into anything that's kind of like Mediterranean Indian themed, I think, Moroccan. Do you know the canyons in Arizona and Utah? Yeah, this, it's right here. Came all the way to Japan for it. Dope. I've seen where this hentai goes. I'm in a dungeon-y type of place. Gonna cast some spells, gonna hex some people. They put me in Weeaboo jail. Spoopy, super spoopy. This can hold my weight. Oh, that I can be like a sailor moon thing, just like floating. What? What is this? Who built this? I want this in my house. Damn. This room is 
is huge. Make it so. I think I know what you have. You got a case of the succums. Suck on my balls. And suddenly we're in Little Italy with my baggage and some windows and a door and a bench. Yeah, romantic. And then all of a sudden it's grungy. You got some gangster stuff over here, you got some graffiti, you got, you got some fence. Ah, fences. You got, you got some shutters over here. So, so urban. If you're thinking that you want to sit in a cathedral all, mm, what's the word for it, regal and stuff, you have this nice little chair and a stained glass window, but do you want two stained glass windows? Because you can get two stained glass windows. Welcome to my family's Chinese restaurant. That's not racist because my family actually had a Chinese restaurant and I used to work in it. It's a saloon. Fun fact, all of these bottles are filled with liquid. I don't know if they're real alcohol or not, but I confirmed they're liquid. There wasn't actually an upstairs. The stairs ends right there. Yeah. Okay, this is the second half of the industrial. This is more like a factory or like a rooftop kind of thing. Here we have Vicky Bunny Angel shooting some Persona 5. I missed out on that memo because I could have brought Panther. God damn it! You don't need to book any of the sets individually, you just have to be courteous of other cosplayers. It's good to check in and ask someone how much time they have left in their photo set so you can come back later when it's free. Now this is a gothic Lolita's wet dream. There's just so much candy everywhere. Everything is super pink and cute and kawaii and I just want to dress up in a cute little dress and sit down and have tea time. Hearts! This is kind of like a living room scene where you have TV and couch and you just watch Netflix and chill. Do you want to stand on the alchemist thing? Bankai! Just like a flower wall, every Instagram girl wants to be on a skull wall. Super spoopy and scary, like touching guy's face over here. I want this chair in my house. No way, I want this chair in my house. No way, I want this chair in my house. It's another bed. Happy birthday to me. Yeah! There are roughly 25 to 30 different sets depending on how you angle your shoots, which is about six floors worth of places to shoot. There's also a rooftop garden that we completely missed out on. We didn't even know it was there. I don't even know how to even get there, but you can check on the website for more photos. Some of these sets are actually rotating depending on the season or the holiday, so you want to make sure you check their website for any updates. I actually highly recommend that you bring as many costumes as you can and book for an entire day because there's so many places to shoot and you do not want to miss out on how cool this place is. You want to do some old-timey slice of life anime? Got you right over here with some traditional... Wait, do these doors open? Oh, there's, there's nothing back there. But it's very nice! Welcome to my children's bedroom because it's a bunk bed. There's TV, there's another bed, but most importantly, there's a toilet. There's a grand piano over here. I'm not going to play it because there's a sign that says specifically don't play the piano. This is weed jail number two. There's more space this time. So nice. I feel like I upgraded. One of the coolest things you can do here is that you can rent yourself a VIP room instead of sharing the big dressing room. This is the one we rented. The space comes with a vanity as well as a full length mirror. So they also give you individual lockers so that you can easily organize if you're with a bunch of people like I am today. 
Here's some teaser photos of my 2B cosplay that I shot there. The light is so amazing. We actually didn't end up using any of the lights that we brought, and instead just relied on the natural ceiling light that just permeated everywhere. You can see more photos like this that I update on my Patreon. Link in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I love you guys.